Hey, what's going on? Today we're gonna go over the residue kit accessory for the HS 2.4S submersible trash pump by Sudumi. The residue kit is really important because a lot of you want to pump down to a very low water level. As you can see with the HS 2.4S that we've got this intake filter screen and the continuous water level for pumping, normally we wanna be slightly above the impeller. So we're talking about this black line here. So about five inches or so, four and a half inches, I think is the continuous pumping water level for the HS 2.4S. <clears throat> if you wanna pump down to half an inch, oh, there's a lot of glare on that. There you go. HS 2.4S residue kit is what we wanna install. So we're gonna go ahead and install this today. I cannot tell you how easy this is. Uh, you don't even need any special tools. You don't need to be a pro. You can do this at home. For those of you that are pro, you'll do this even faster than myself. I, I'm just gonna, you know, we're gonna walk through it and just take it one step at a time, show you how easy it is. Let's go over that right now. First of all, what's in the residue kit? Instructions. Step by step. Okay, so the disc, and then in the rest of the bag, I mean, I'm telling you, this is, this is so easy. Okay, three bolts, stainless steel, a set of three uh, nylon washers, three stainless steel washers, if you want to increase the height slightly or lower the height slightly. Okay, so that's the residue kit get that to the side. So what do we need for this? Pretty much a 13 millimeter, sorry, 50, yeah, 13 millimeter box wrench. If you're a Sears guy or snap on just to have it at your house, but you never use it, you might have a ratchet set. Okay. This one, I just put a half inch. Simple. We're just going to loosen these guys. The Bolts are set um, and molded in on the bottom of the intake screen. So you don't even need to worry about the other side of this. Just unscrew the nuts on top. Okay, three nuts off. One, two, three. Okay, then what we wanna do is we wanna flip the pump over. Okay, and then you can pull the intake screen right off. All right, so we got the pump upside down. Now we're gonna install the residue kit on top, okay? So all we need to do for the residue kit depends on the height you want. In this case, we can use the uh, nylon washers to get a little bit more height to allow a little bit uh, larger solids through. If you wanna get slightly lower, all you do is you use the washers instead. These guys, boom, right on top, okay? I would angle it, but they'll all fall off, but I think you know what I'm, okay, so they're right here, right where the three bolts are gonna go, so you put those on first. Okay, so let's use the nylon. Oh, and also, if you wanna get a little more height, you can use the nylon and the stainless steel washer just to get a little bit more height out of it. We'll just use the nylon, okay? And then real simple, Take the disc, okay? And look at look at how this is set up, right? There's two, there's two, this is the bottom, I mean, sorry. It sits like this on the ground, okay? So we're gonna install it upside down. So this is the bottom. This is when the pump sits, it's gonna sit on that part, okay? So we're installing it, because the pump's upside down, we're installing it this way, okay? So you can see the cutout of the rubber and then the, the stainless steel here, okay? So you want the stainless steel Boom, connecting right there. And that cutout is to allow for the head of the bolt to sit flush. That's what that's for. So if you install it and the bolt head is sitting up like this and sticking past the rubber, you know you did it wrong. Okay, the rubber should be flush. Okay, boom. Put your nuts on. One. 
By the way, I'm not a mechanic, just a regular dude, right? I'm not an engineer, okay? I'm not even a salesman, right? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just me, okay? Anybody can do this, okay? So then, box wrench, okay? Now, since we're upside down and it's easy to access, okay, we can use the ratchet on the bottom to hold it, to dial us in, and then just, and you don't have to get crazy on this. I'm not even, I don't even think the instructions call for a certain torque adjustment. Just, just tighten it to where you know that it's not gonna come off. Just hand tight, boom. That's all it is, okay? Simple. Then we turn it over. We can remove the original. Okay, so you can see how low that guy sits compared to this. So this is the original height here, and then this is the new height down here. Okay, so that's the residue kit, and you can see on the bottom, okay, where the agitator is. You can see what it looks like on the bottom. Turn it a little bit. The agitator is almost flush, okay, almost flush with the bottom rubber. Okay, so anything coming in here, boom, the agitator agitates it, and then it gets sucked in right through into the volute, and you're good to go. Then you can see from the side, hopefully, see how, yeah, you see my arm through there? That's that 3 eighths of an inch gap. Okay, 10 millimeters. So that's, that's the size of the solids that it's allowing in. Okay, so guys, like I said, guys and gals, super easy. I mean, I fumbled through that even and it was still quick. For more information on this and other pumps in our Sudomi pump line, visit our website at imperialsalesinc.com. We'll see you on the next one.